Good morning, y'all. So I recently got a comment from a subscriber saying, can you do a products I regret buying video, which I have done them in the past. I think they are incredibly informative and very helpful to the community. I love watching them. I hate wasting money. Um, so when I got the comment, I initially thought, well, you know, I don't think I really have anything left in my collection that I'm not crazy about. I've done a really good job of decluttering and passing on. So I just, I didn't think I had anything. On second glance, yeah, I do have a couple of products that I'm, I'm still using that I want to use up, that I want to kind of get my money's worth out. It wasn't like horrible, um, but I do really regret spending the money on them, getting swept up in the hype, the packaging, whatever it may have been. Um, I do have a bag, which the majority of these that I'm about to show you are actually going to be passed on to my cousin. Today's actually Christmas Eve. Like after I shoot this video, I'm going to go get dressed and get ready for church. Um, so when she comes over tonight, you know, for our party to open presents and everything um, I'm gonna give her a bag so hey girl if you're watching um, I'm gonna give her a bag of all good decent products but just things that I, I regret and don't need and, and wish I hadn't spent the money on so this is the Too Faced Love palette. This is the most expensive item I have in here. I have a couple of other ones that are getting close to this mark, but uh, this was $49. It's the same price as all the uh, the chocolate bar palettes, and it is nowhere near the quality of it. Um, and I, I even thought like maybe I should sell it or something like that, but I just, I don't like selling makeup. I don't. It's kind of a pain in the butt, and I don't want to send them to Glambot. We all know my stance on that. Um, so here is... Here's the palette and I got swept up in packaging that point blank that's what it is I got swept up in the packaging it is so beautiful so gorgeous and just look at that it is so it is beautiful like you can't argue that it's gorgeous it's the performance is not good on these eyeshadows there there's like one matte it goes on patchy for me um, tons of glittery fallout uh, shades that are just all glitter and no pigment I never reach for it I really don't um, but I just am not able to pass this on quite yet so I'm gonna try this year to get some more use out of it like this shade here this uh, bronzy ready almost like um oh my god why can't I think of the name rose gold that almost kind of rose gold shade is really pretty um, but the rest are just not that great for me so yeah, the uh, Real Techniques Bold Metals collection I think are incredibly overpriced and I really wish I had not bought this brush. This is the Real Techniques 301 uh, Flat Contour Brush. And when this came out, it was like the only other contour brush besides the Eda brush. And I was like, oh, I have to have it. I want it so bad. I bought it like the week it came out. It was $23. I'm nearly certain of that, $23. Mm -mm. I never use it. I never use it. And this is another thing. It's like, what do I do with this? You know, ugh. Anyways, um, so it does give you a really great, really sharp contoured line, but that's it. it. It does not blend for you. It is so dense, so dense. It just lays on product really thick. Yeah, you can get that sharp line, but I'm not, I don't want to have to go grab another brush, go in and blend. I, I love like my angled brush where I can lay it on and blend all in one step and this just it doesn't do it for me. So I was so excited like I I waited for this product to release. I like stalked Ulta's website like I was all about this. I was so excited. I was all wrapped up in the hype when Bare Minerals released this Complexion Rescue the Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. Um, I don't know I just thought oh my god how innovative how cool like all their little marketing ads got me. Um, I bought the shade Suede Zero four and that's part of the problem they didn't have the best shade range in here um, the one that matched my undertone which is pink is really dark and therefore it only matches me during the summer in my darkest the other problem is just it, and there's no coverage there is no coverage at all and yes does it feel like a really great moisturizer yeah but I have great moisturizers. I don't need another one that's supposed to be a foundation. Now, did I think it was gonna be full coverage? No, of course not. Um, I thought it was gonna be a BB cream tinted moisturizer, blah, blah. Mm -mm. It's just incredibly sheer. It covers nothing. The shade didn't work for me. I am gonna hang on to it, basically because no one in my family or friends is any darker than I am. Um, so I, I don't have anyone to pass it on to. So I'm gonna hang on to it until next summer and um, I'll get dark enough, use it up, and I'm done with it. This one's hard. This is a Becca Blush in Gypsy. This is their um, Pressed Shimmer Powder Blush. And these Gypsy and Angel are different from their mineral blushes. These are incredibly sheer and shimmery. I'll give you a little swatch of it. 
it is absolutely beautiful see very sheer but just a pink iridescence to the skin I regret this not because of the product but because I bought it from a blog sale and it was just such a negative experience just oh I had to like go through PayPal and get like a hold on the money it was it was bad then when I got the product it I think the lady who sold this to me was a smoker and she smoked inside her house which you want to smoke smoke all day okay but and smoke in your house if you want to I really don't care but like I don't want to buy products from you Ben you know what I mean I feel like if you're gonna do that then you need to disclose because I'm sure there's people who don't care I did do my best to try to get that scent off but man it is stuck in there like that is so shocking how a product like this can soak up the scent of your house so bad it's just I, I never dreamed of it um, it makes me wonder what my makeup smells like you know what I mean um, obviously no one smokes in my house though um, so I, I did my best I sanitized it I took the top layer off I like scrubbed the outside of the packaging I left it open to like breathe it just it's better but it's not a totally gone um, I did purchase another one basically I purchased one from Lord and Taylor a new one and I'm just gonna get rid of this one I am gonna pass it on but I am gonna pass it on with the warning like and the stipulation like hey I didn't do it I didn't make the blush smell bad you know which I feel bad about but I also don't want it to go to waste so um, I am gonna pass it on and hopefully someone else can like let it air out or something I just don't I have a backup I'm gonna use the backup there's no need for me to hang on to this when I have so much it was just such a negative experience that I'm not using either of them and that's stupid so I'll pass this on then I can use my backup and it'll all be, will be right in the world I'm about to blow your mind I know I regret buying the Milani baked blushes I do blush I only bought one because the others were just even more shimmery and not in colors I was gonna wear uh, so this is Rose de Oro and it it is very beautiful and it is highly pigmented very much is like look that's it's gorgeous um, the thing is is that it's just so shimmery um, and this is more of a personal preference thing again this is something like I regret buying it um, because of my personal needs and my personal skin tone um, a it can go real orange on me yeah not the most flattering color I just I don't know what I wanted it to be but not quite so orange and B is the shimmer it's just it's a little bit too much shimmer for my cheeks where I have like some acne scarring and stuff so needed to tone it down I was not using this I have lots of other high-end blushes and I figured I'd pass this one on um, but it is really beautiful I think my cousin is like 19 years old college freshman young beautiful skin um, so I think she can probably wear this whereas my getting older downhill slide to 30 skin cannot I'm getting rid of and I regret both of my Tarte Lip Surgeons lip crayons I do not get the hype on these one bit at all and I saw like those new holiday collections that came with like nine of them it's like I'd never get through all those I just I mean they're okay they're nice they you know moisturize the lips they look you know kind of like a lip gloss or whatever but they are not any bit better than the CoverGirl ones or the Revlon ones or any of those. L'Oreal has some, the, you know, the sticks like this. They are absolutely nothing spectacular, um, nothing to write home about. So I definitely don't get the and pretty high price tag that comes with these. I am just breaking hearts today. I am like bashing people's favorite products. I kind of feel bad about that. Um, NYX Butter Gloss. Again, every single one of these items are actually decent. The Too Faced Love palette is decent. It's just frustrating uh, with the pigment. NYX Butter Gloss, decent, but overhyped, definitely. It is nothing special. It is a lip gloss, um, and just really nothing special lip gloss at that. It smells good. Yeah, I'll give you that. Um, it's not sticky, so that's a big benefit, yes. But other than that, it's it's just a lip gloss, and I don't see any point in, you know, having every single color in the collection. And I especially, I just, I didn't pick the best color. I don't need this kind of, like, orangey cantaloupe color. Um, I just, I regret spending the money on it. It's just a same old other lip gloss. And finally, I am getting rid of this palette. This is the BH Cosmetics 28 Color Eyeshadow Palette in Smoky Eyes. I got this at Mar Marshalls and I only spent five bucks on it so I only five bucks regret it um 
I mean, is it okay for five bucks? Yeah, I think it'd be okay for a beginner or someone who doesn't have a lot of eyeshadows, who doesn't have high-end eyeshadows because they just don't hold up um, overall if you're looking at the palette as a whole to like my high-end eyeshadows and that's okay. It, it was a waste. I've only had this a couple of months. Um, I, I just hauled it maybe about two months ago. I just, I don't need it. I wasted the money. But lesson learned, um, so I don't know, will I ever buy more BH Cosmetics? Probably not. It's just not, that's not a company that really like draws me in. I'm like a quality over quantity kind of girl. I would never buy like those 128, 88 palette kind of things um, because I'm not a makeup artist. I don't care about having every single shade and every single color. I just want to do the things that I know that look good on me and I want high quality products to do so with. Um, so yeah, that's gonna go that being said like it's not garbage. It's not it doesn't need to be thrown in the trash I you know, I think my cousin can get some use out of it, you know being a college student wearing some like really pretty um, You know more bright colorful colorful shades. I think she would really enjoy that But for me and my needs, it's just it was a waste of five bucks Alrighty guys, so those are the products that I do regret spending my hard-earned money on. Most of these are leaving my collection. I just did another declutter, like, I'm doing really good on my declutter, so I'm really proud of myself. And, side note, I'm doing really good on my project pan, too. Um, so there's only a couple of them, like the Love palette I am going to keep and hold on to and try to get some use out of. Um, other than that everything else is going to go. Um, so then I really can't do another products I regret buying video because this is pretty much it. I went through everything. Um, so yeah, proud of myself. Hopefully there'll be no more in the future either. Hopefully I won't be spending money anymore on products I regret. So I hope this was helpful. Um, if you're looking at any of these products, this is, this is my opinion on them and I hope it I hope it helped. Um, so let me know question of the video. Do you have any products that you regret? Uh, leave them down in the comments below so you can help us out. Like me, I don't want to spend my money anymore on products that I hate. Um, so that would be really awesome if you could leave your suggestions below. Thank you again so so much for watching. Remember everybody's famous in their hometowns. See you in the next video. Bye.